Hi, welcome um, to the new video. Today I'm doing a pin-up picture that you can see on the right side of this video. Uh, as always, the colors are opaque black and white and the rest of the colors are transparent candy colors. Um, first I'm using the um, number one, the um, to lay down the first white because uh, I'm working with transparent color colors, candy colors uh, that need the white to work. So that's the first step. So now I'm laying down a little bit of white for the future background. Okay, now I switch to uh, opaque black and uh, using the first stencil. So how I work, this is the important one because all the necessary information for putting down the next stencils are here. So it's like a comic picture you have like the black outlines for everything that's in there if you don't want to have it this this dark you can also use um, a magenta or a purple to paint this so now comes the shadow And we go to the first grey. So I'm still using the opaque black, but I'm working just with a little bit of the color. So I'm, I'm painting with less opacity. And this is stencil that you also can use with grey, but I'm choosing to use the purple with this. So this is a light skin color. And now I'm using a light brown. Um, this is a color I mixed myself, it's like 90% uh, yellow and 10% purple. Switching back to magenta. And I'm doing the uh, shirt and the shoes. And the upper lip. Now comes uh, the second stencil where you can put down the hair color, the some um, pattern in the shirt, and some stuff in the face. For the hair I used like um, the purple, a fire red and the magenta again. So now I'm doing the skin color like I told you before. And you can see that the purple tones are turned into like brown tones. 
and the last uh, purple you put in the third stage, the lighter the skin color gets. Okay, then now we're going to the first of two whites. Uh, this is now not in a full white. So as you can see, uh, at the lag and at the uh, bottom, you can see that the white is directly at the outside of the stencil. So there you can have your uh, tracking points there, so that the stencil fits. So then I'm going with the light brown over it again, so that it's not too shiny. And also over the, the dress. And now this is the cover stencil and there is also the full white part in there. So this stencil is, is um, you can orientate yourself at the first black we used. And we're putting this over it and so we had like a perfect fit for highlighting the eyes and then the lips. So now I'm just laying down some color for the background and then the picture is about to be finished. I'm using now a light blue and a dark blue and um, if you're working with colors this is like, like a like a good mix because um, each color support each other with the light brown or orange tones and the blue. It's like a complementary contrast. So I'm a little bit white for the panties. And then we're nearly finished. Like everything that's not wet or from plastic, you need to um, paint over the highlights so that, that they are not too too shiny. Putting down the eye color, I choose green here and I'm doing some stars and then I'm putting back the cover stencil and repeat the white in the highlights the, the white in the eyes so the highlights I'm trying to paint just the white and I'm doing some stars for the background. And that's about it. So if you like this video there's tons of more on my channel. Uh, you can subscribe it. See you soon. Bye.